how exactly you can build a school management app without a single line of code. Follow the steps in this video to customize your school management app in just a few clicks. Thousands of schools and businesses use Formaloo daily to create apps, portals, and forms to engage their audience. Hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more useful content and let's get started. So you can start building everything from scratch or use the ready-to-use template we've prepared for you. Search for class management in the templates gallery or find its link in the description below. The class management app has three menus, one for the students, one for the teachers, and another for the school administrators. I'll show you how you can create access levels for each user group and restrict access to each section based on the user's access. But now let's see how the app works. In the students menu, your students can submit their assignments on this form, and also they can see the scores on the scores bulletin board. The teachers can see the submitted student's assignments and also submit the student scores which will be visible on the bulletin board as I showed you. The school manager can also see and manage the list of students, the list of teachers and the courses taught at the school. I will show you how you can customize and change this template. But before that, let me know what other modules you want to add to our school management app. Leave it in the comment section below right now. I'm excited to see your ideas after this video. All right, let's see how you can customize the school management template. Start with editing the template. When you click on the edit button on the template, it creates a new folder on your dashboard, including all the required data sources for that app. And it's the same for this app. You can see its folder on your dashboard and when you open it, there are formulas that store the data of courses, teachers, students, assignments, and student scores. And of course, here's our class management app. Each formula here has a form attached to it, and you can see the form by right-clicking on it and selecting the view option. Formulas also have an app you can edit by clicking on the formula in your dashboard. You can edit your data structure by right-clicking it and selecting edit. There you can add new fields or delete or edit them. Changing the fields in your data structure will also change how your form looks. Well, because a form is basically a view of our database that collects data and puts them into the database. You can also get an email notification when someone submits an enable the notification email option. Enter your email address and save. You can also forward a copy to other members by putting their email address in the forward box. To edit the app, click on its formula and edit the app. Here you can add new menus and submenus. You can also show your data and forms on new pages by clicking on the Add Page button. Now let's restrict access to the pages so each user group can only see the pages they should. To do it, you should enable the portal mode on your app. Go to App Settings and enable the portal mode on your app. Also, enable the public view so your users can view the app and sign up for it. Save changes and close up the pop-up window. Now you'll see the users option show up on the left menu. Open it and enable the portal here. You can either choose from an existing users table or create a new one. Let's create a new table. Click on the new table button to create a new users table for your portal. Also enable the allow new users to sign up option so your users can sign up on your app. When you open the public view of the app, you'll see the login and sign up buttons on the app so the users can sign up for the school app. So let's sign up. As you can see, when you sign up, it shows your name at the top right of the page and you can view your profile or log out. To edit the user's form, go back to the admin view of your app, click on the user's page and select the edit form button above the user's table. The user formula looks exactly like the other formulas, except it's designed to sort user's data. So it's best not to edit most of the fields because their existence and settings are required for a user's database and sign up form. Here you see there's an admin only field for the user's role. Admin only fields are only visible to the admin and can't be edited by anyone else. You can add new roles to this field, click on the roles field and in the options, add your roles. Our school app has a role for students, one for teachers and one for the manager. Save the changes and now let's get back to our app. Go to the users page and let's edit the role of this user. Click the edit icon and choose teacher as the user's role. Then save changes. As you see in the table, now the user has a teacher role. 
Okay, now let's restrict access to our teacher's pages. Edit the app and open the student's assignments page. Click on the settings button at the top right side of the page and change the visibility of the page to specific user access levels. Then choose teacher. This way, only people who have the teacher role will be able to see this page. You can do the same for all pages that need to be accessible only for specific roles. Now let's save the changes and see the public view of our app. As you see, this user has a teacher role, so they can see the student's assignments page. But if we log out, it won't be visible anymore. All right, now let's submit the assignment form to test the flow. Go to the Submit Your Assignment page and submit a new assignment. And when we go to the student's assignments page in the teacher's menu, we can see the new assignment in the table. And that's it! In this video, we customized the school management app and went through how you can manage the access levels for students, teachers, and the manager. You can grab its template at the link below this video and start customizing now. If you like this video, hit the like button below, share with your friends, and be sure to subscribe. Happy formalooing!